What is going on guys, Tiswafi here, jeez, <laughs> and welcome back to some more Terraria. Now last time we left off, we were preparing for the Moon Lord, and this episode I think we want to continue preparing for the Moon Lord, and maybe even take it on by the end of the episode, at least to, you know, maybe see what it's like, maybe we'll be able to finally, you know, take it on and, and kill it, hopefully, hopefully all of our preparations are going to be good enough to finally beat the final boss of Terraria. But, like I said, there is still a lot of preparation I want to do beforehand. And one of those things was moving the sky bridge down a little bit. I did say I wanted to do this last episode. Uh, last time, you guys remember, it was like right at the edge of this cloud is where, uh, how high it was. And it was a little bit too high because, you know, like every time we floated up, we basically got into outer space and, you know, we float down a little bit slower when we're in the outer space, like, area of the map, I guess you can call it. <laughs> so I lowered it right here. Uh, it was previously right there. There's the top of our Christmas tree. I said, you know what, between the Christmas tree and the, uh, or the top of the Christmas tree and where it was previously is a good spot. So I did that exactly in the middle right there. Coincidentally, it was only like 200, uh, tiles right there. So I did go 100 tiles from the top of the Christmas tree and then boom. So you can also see I have campfires over here as well. So you guys did say, yeah, it does stack. What, how do I, what am I stuck? There you go, jeez. But you guys did say, yeah, it does stack the uh, the campfire effect and the heart lantern effect. So yeah, it does make sense to, uh, to have both of them up here, which is good. So now we have this going, and you know, whenever we have the uh, the Moon Lord arriving, maybe want to get like maybe about over here, and it's a little bit more open. We don't have these uh, sky things, and we have a lot of room to the left and to the right. Uh, I did build this about you know where the old one was. I didn't extend it any further than the old one was. Uh, even though I do have a lot of heckin' resources to extend it if I want to, I just didn't do that because, you know, only so much time in the heckin' universe, right? <laughs> but for right now, uh, I do want to do a little bit more preparation, like I said, for this Moon Lord. And one of those things was, uh, you guys said, hey, why don't you get the Ankh Shield? And that is like an upgrade for the Angry Obsidian Shield, or just the Obsidian Shield, where you like combine together an Ankh Charm together with it, I think. If we go over here to the guide... Uh, yeah, Ankh Charm grants immunity to most debuffs. Yeah, that sounds very helpful for this final boss here, you guys. We're going to get, probably get a bunch of heckin' debuffs from him, and hopefully uh, we'll be immune to most, if not all of them, if we have the, uh, the Ankh Shield, or the Ankh, well, yeah, the Ankh Shield, but we need to make the Ankh Charm. I already pre-pulled that up beforehand, and we need, like, five different things to make this Ankh Charm. Armor Bracing, Medicated Bandage, uh, The Plan, I think we already have that. Counter Curse Mantra and blindfold i think we have that uh so to get armor bracing i don't know what was that look like again kind of looks okay I, I see what it looks like uh oh well yeah we do have the blindfold like i said yeah let me just keep that there and then we have the plan in here is that the yeah this is yep that's the plan yep just looking at the pictures here so we have uh the encountered curse mantra i am not seeing that here at all yeah, and then we do have this other chest over here for more accessories, which... Uh, just going back and forth between armor bracing... I don't think we have that. Oh, and by the way, uh, tackle box? No, I didn't get that one. Oh, yeah, between this episode and last episode, I did two Simon quests, and, uh, well, I actually hit the 10th Simon quest and got, like, an achievement for that, so that's cool. But he also gave us, like, a hat over here, so, uh, yeah, angler hat. Increases the fishing power, so I guess if I want to use that, to get more fishing power than I can, but, you know, basically just waiting for him to, uh, refresh his quest until I can do it again, and, you know, hopefully we get something good from him finally, right? Maybe finally make the heckin' PDA and cell phone like I wanted to do for the longest time. But, yeah, back to making this Ankh Charm armor bracing. So where do I get that? And medicated bandage, I think? We might have that? Because I remember seeing a... I think I saw a bandage before. Maybe it's not there. Oh, wait, hold on. Was that it? No, that wasn't it. More accessories. Was it over here? Yeah, I'm not seeing a bandage there. So, let's see. How do we get this armor bracing? Oh, you actually craft it, actually. Yeah. Armor polish and vitamin. I think I have that. Armor polish and vitamin. Yeah, it's like, I have a lot of those. Okay, so there you go. Combine those together. Probably at an anvil and then, or, uh... Oh, there you go. Armor bracing, boom. Immunity to weakness and broken armor. Ooh, that's good. Immunity to... Oh, and by the way, speaking of weakness and all that kind of stuff, I did see I had another potion over here. Definitely want to take it. Endurance potion. Reduces damage taken by 10%. Might want to stack that up with iron skin, to be quite honest, so that'd help us out a ton. 
So, yeah, definitely don't want to forget about these pens. Maybe I even put them in my inventory and just kind of keep them there just because. So there you go. Uh, and then, yeah, remember, we do need to take on that other tower up here, the, the Nebula Pillar. We need to go take that thing on before the Moon Lord. Like, it gives us, like, a two-minute warning or whatever before he actually spawns in. So we need to go take on that pillar, you know, when we actually think we're prepared for the Moon Lord. So hopefully that's going to be a little bit later on. But back to uh, this. Now we have the... Armor bracing, we have the plan, we have the blindfold, we need to get the medicated bandage and the counter curse mantra, which is, ooh, I don't, I think we have this Bezoar thing, I don't know about an adhesive bandage though, so the adhesive bandage drops from werewolves and anglerfish and rusty armored bones with a 1% chance, ooh. So I guess we can kill a bunch of werewolves, and uh, I, I just hope I'd never sold that. Like, looking at a bandage, or looking for a bandage, yeah, that should be pretty easy, but I'm not seeing it here, you guys, unfortunately, so that sucks. Not seeing it there either. Man, what is that again? Necromatic skulls? Or scroll? <laughs> uh, hand warmer, arcane, blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, this one gives you the ability to dash. I don't know if I'll use that. Man, I don't know. We might not actually be very close to making this, because I'm missing this... Adhesive bandage. We might have the Bezoar thing. It's a green circle, right? Uh, yes, we do. Precise be Yeah, so we have that. Just need to combine it together with a bandage, and then boom, we're good. What about the other thing? The counter curse mantra. Megaphone and Nazar or Nazar. I think we have that. Yep. Yep. I, I remember selling some of these in the past. So I'm glad I kept at least one. Jeez. But we also need a megaphone, which I don't think we have. So that sucks. Uh... Yeah, a little red megaphone. I'm not seeing it right now. What does that get dropped by? Green jellyfish, blood mummies, dark mummy, and pixies. All a 1% drop. Man. Well, I guess if anything, I couldn't hang out in the... We do have a biome over here for the hallowed. I guess I can go over there and just kind of kill a bunch of pixies. Oh, yeah. If anything, I do want to make more of the uh, Ecor bullets. I do want to get a good amount of those going. So that's going to be good to lower his defense. If he's even affected by that, hopefully he is, right? But, you know, I have a lot of heckin' Ecor. I should be able to do that, right? So, oh, hold on. There's a, pi there's a pixie over there. There's a pixie over here. Hold on. Boom. Pixie dead. What are we looking for again with the pixie? Megaphone. That's what we're looking for. Okay. So, yeah, we need to look for the megaphone with the pixie. Oh, yeah, we're just getting pixie dust and stuff like that. Yeah, every time we kill a pixie, it's a 90... Oh, God. Glowing snail. Oh, I thought that was like a... Uh, a tru I wonder if a truffle worm can even spawn over here. On the surface area? It's probably only for underground uh, mushroom biomes or something like that. I doubt it spawn up there. That'd be kind of weird. I don't know. I'm like mushroom... Uh, worms do spawn on the surface anyways. Maybe they'll spawn. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to wait and see, perhaps. Maybe I'll find one. But yeah, every time we kill a pixie, like I said, 99% chance that no heckin' megaphone is gonna drop out of it. So yeah, that's gonna take quite a while to try and get one of these out doing that much, so. Yeah, I guess I can continue to, uh, you know, kill a bunch of pixies, maybe try and find, like, those armored skeletons or whatever, try and, try and get the, uh, bandage from those. I think those are, what are they, in the, uh, the dungeon or something like that? So I, I suppose I can continue to do that, and, you know, we can try and get this Ankh charm, which sounds extremely helpful. So let me just do a bunch of heckin' pixie killing and whatever else, <laughs> I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. No luck getting a a bandage and a, mi a megaphone, I think it was called. But I did, like, uh, while, while I was down, uh, where, uh, whoops, that was the wrong one. While I was down here trying to find pixies, because, you know, only so many pixies can spawn in this area. So I went over here to the underground hallowed, because, you know, it's a bigger area for hallowed, so, you know, hopefully find more pixies. I did find, oh, where was it? Cause there's a lot of these like underground like abandoned houses you guys know somewhere over here I found I think it was a heart statue first or no I think it was like a spear statue. hold on what do I have in my inventory okay I'm all over the place here. yeah I found the spear statue first then I found the jellyfish and then I think I found the heart out or maybe I already had the heart here at home and I had it in storage and I I don't know but either way <laughs> so apparently with these statues I don't know if I ever mentioned it before like you could like automate these things like you know the terraria version of redstone here with wires and electricity and all that kind of stuff i've got a lever and like a one i guess i can get rid of this there you go and a, like a one second timer thing right there so the lever i guess is is providing constant power to the one second timer and the one second timer is every one second applying power to the heart statue there and as you can see hearts are coming out of it can i see one coming out of it uh on, yep look, look at that boom heart just came out of it right there this could be invaluable for this boss battle. So say, oh, I took a health potion or whatever. Whoops, that was the wrong button. 
Was that the right button? Hold on. Why is that? Oh, it's because I'm full health. <laughs> I guess I can't take a heart or a health statue whenever I'm full health. But yeah, if if I take like a or a, I can't take the heart statue whenever I can't take a health potion whenever I'm full health. So say I, I have you know 30 seconds of cooldown on health potion there, and I can't use it for another 30 seconds, right? But I'm like at like I don't know like 100 health out of 500. Well, I can come over here because in the background it's been boom, boom, boom. A lot of hearts have been spawning in from this thing. I wish I knew about this earlier on in the series because you guys know. We've gotten so many statues throughout the entire of the series, I've even thrown some of them out because I thought, oh, it's just decoration or whatever, but no! Apparently you can use them to spawn things in, not only just these hearts here. I don't know if the, uh, the spear here is- oh god. I don't know if the spear is purely decorative or if you could actually spawn in, like, you know, like weapons and stuff like that from that. <laughs> That'd be crazy, or if, if spear, like, spears would come out poking and I could automate it like that way. I wish I did this a little bit earlier, guys, and I wish I didn't throw away who knows what statues. I might have had some very rare statues. Some of them I not, might have even thrown away before I even showed you guys. Like, I might have had some really good stuff and didn't even know it. But I do have a jellyfish statue. Apparently the green jellyfish, which I think spawns in the underground hallowed biome, is another thing, just like the pixie that drops the, uh, the band-aid or the megaphone, whatever it is that we're looking for right now. So, may I go under here into the underground hallowed, Throw one. I just don't know it, how's it going to work underwater or whatever. Which, by the way, yeah, I've got wire cut. Oh god, what's twenty range? Well, I guess it makes sense. Is that only four wires though? Like, could I could I have used this thing to help build the bridge? Maybe I don't know. Can I put it over here? No, I can't. Yeah, I doubt. I doubt you can do that. I think it's only for wires actually. But I do have like a pressure plate. I've got the mechanical lens. I've got a wire cutter, uh, red wrench. I've got a decent amount of wires there. So you can see I've been experimenting around with this stuff here. Uh, to try and figure out, like, how, how it works, and yeah, this is the only thing that works so far. I did also have a quarter second timer. I thought, you know, maybe that's a little bit too fast, because it seems like there's like a 10 second cooldown on every heart that spawns out of that thing, so... I've got a one second cool- or a uh, one second heart right there, or a one second timer right there, just so, you know, every second it's gonna try and uh, spawn in a heart, and hey, if, if a heart's available, then it should spawn in. A little bit better than, say, like a five second timer, I think I also saw. Maybe like one, two, three, four, five second timer, and then there, it goes down like a quarter second right there. I didn't do a quarter second, I just did it with a one second right there, but as you can see with me just talking there, we got like four hearts right there, so that's good. So, yeah, I don't know why I never made one of these sooner. Maybe I maybe I got comments about it and just kind of overshadowed them or whatever, I don't know. If so, then I apologize for that because, man, this is this is some great stuff here, you guys. You saw, basically got 100 health right there, but just by doing nothing, look at that heart right there, boom, another heart right there. If I can get more of these heart statues, and put them, it's just that a lot of the ones I've found are, I've already gotten and maybe even thrown away. Like, I doubt I can go down here and find more, and by the way, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could find them anywhere in the caves, but I've found them more frequently, like in these underground cavern things, like inside the houses there, so. I guess I can go investigate every one of these houses here and see if, you know, maybe if there's a heart statue there that's- Oh god, I forgot about the Corphite farm. Jeez, look at that one, that one's almost full! Jeez! But yeah, I, I- I- Maybe I can go, like, maybe- I doubt there's one there. Or I guess if anything I could just look at the map like this, I doubt it would show me- Ooh, statue there. It's probably way too small to try and see- Oh god, and yeah, we have the jungle here. Ah, uh, man, I just don't know. I just don't know if I'll ever find... Oh, and then, yeah, there's ivy chest there. I just don't know if I'll ever find any statues this away, right? Seems a little bit overcomplicated to try and do it like this. Might be better to just... Oh, and look at that, we got honey pooling down. Oh, yeah, I should definitely go collect that honey. Because uh, you guys also said, hey... Oh, and by the way, with me yapping right there, we just got, like, I don't know, 150 health or something right there. <laughs> with me... Or, uh, what was I saying right there? Yeah, you guys said, hey, collect the honey. So let's, let's go down there. Let's go get a bucket, or actually, like, who knows how many buckets. I don't know if I want to put it up there, though, because wouldn't honey slow you down? Or, I guess maybe it won't, because we have these, right? Rise the ability to walk on the honey. So I, I bet it wouldn't really do too much, right? So I suppose we can go get some, I guess, metal or uh, iron over here, right? Try and make some buckets. Like, where would that be? Oh, whoa. Outlet pump. <laughs> See, these pump things, I don't even know what to do with these. Like, that's obviously for, like, liquids and stuff like that, but, uh... Oh, here we go, here we go, empty bucket. Uh, three iron bars. Oh, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I've got tons of those. Okay, ten, ten buckets right there. L let's try it out with that. See how that works. I need to make, like, a chest over here specifically for wires and stuff like that, you know? Oh, yeah, look at that. See, I even have a statue over here in my house of a hammer. It might just be 
purely decorative right there. I don't know if I wire that up to something, if something will happen out of that hammer, but I doubt it. Either way, I do need to have a chest here for red. Ah, uh, I could probably, I'll store it over, the mechanic is in the, the snow biome. I guess I'll make a chest and put it over there and then that's where I'll keep it. Just like how I keep all my fishing stuff over here, you know, near the, uh, oh, there, yeah, I forgot it was a campfire on top of that. Uh, over there above that lake. I guess I'll just store it over there. Maybe I'll take a chest and I guess I'll just store a bunch of random stuff over there. But also, yeah, I do want to test out. I guess I could test it out on camera because I did all that stuff off camera. You guys missed out a little bit. Uh, so how do I get to the underground hallowed? Here, yes. So I can drop down here. I keep forgetting because there's the crim or uh, chlorophyte farm on that one. And then over here, this is the one that we have for, you know, separating the crimson from spraying near our base. Which I don't even know if it's, it's been spreading, like continuing to spread or what. Oh, geez, wires there? Oh, yeah, because I've got the mechanical lens now. I can see the wire. I guess I can grab that stuff, huh? Free wires. Boom. Yeah, remember, there are like uh, traps and stuff like that in caves. You know, for whenever you press on a pressure plate, you get shot with like arrows or. Oh, yeah, see, like right here. I guess this one had a dart. Yep, yeah, look at that dart trap. Boom, got it. So we're getting free wires there, you guys. Cool. But yeah, underground hallowed here. I guess I could test it out like right here, probably, huh? Oh, oh random spinning sword right there. Boom, dead. <laughs> So, if I, if I place, this is going to be, oh man, do I have a thing here? Oh, I should probably go buy another, uh, I guess if anything, do I have a lever here? I've got a pressure plate, so, oh yeah, okay, I've got a pressure plate there. So I guess I could put that there, boom. And then I could put the jellyfish one in the water, obviously, because, it's, you know, it's a jellyfish, so boom. And I think I found that one underwater, too, so it makes sense, right? So if I do that, and then we have the plus 20 range of the, uh, the wrench... We do this. Oh, I might want to. There you go. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I thought I thought a jellyfish spawned out of there, but no, it was an elemental guy there. Man, we should have enough wires for this. So if I did this, I don't know if there's like a specific range. Yeah, like you guys know from Minecraft, redstone has like what is it, 12 or 15 or something like that range before it needs a repeater. I don't know if that's similar here or what. But there you go. So that I guess that's wired. Oh, oh, oh! My, uh, oh, it's only blue jellyfish, though. I'm like, it's working. Like, you can see that it spawned in a jellyfish there. Oh, my God, it's spawning constantly there. Whoa, I could probably put the, uh... Hold on. Where is that thing at? Oh, the quarters. I might be able to put, like, the quarter-second timer thing here. Hold on, I might be... Uh, this is people that are not redstone experts, but... Let's see... I guess I could put the pressure plate, like, over here, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose I can, and then... Because I think it has to go from the power source, you know, like, the pressure plate, to the repeater thing itself, like this thing, or the timer thing. It can't just go from... You guys probably know it. You guys probably know it better than me. I'm, like, explaining it to myself at this point. <laughs> but if I do this, and I'm spawning on it, or uh, standing on it... Yeah, look at that, boom. So I guess this is a way for you to grind glow sticks, but, like, they're not... they're not green. Why are they not turning green, though? They should be green. It doesn't say this is a blue jellyfish statue. It's just a jellyfish statue, right? So I break that. Where'd it go? Yeah, it's just a jellyfish statue. I'm pretty sure I've seen them green here, though. Or maybe... Uh, I guess maybe... Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fish guy because I'm underwater right now. I know... Oh, yeah, and then, yeah, like, right over here, there's probably some stuff. There's probably stuff. Oh, I probably already got that one, actually. But I think I found the jellyfish statue, like, right here. I just need to find out where the green sp jellyfish supposedly spawn. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen them over here. It's just that I'm not seeing them spawn in from the... Maybe it only spawns in blue jellyfish. So if that's the case, then hey, that sucks. Yeah, look at that. Spawning in a bunch of... And my UFO's just taking care of them there. Wait, why is that not working anymore? Hold on, why is it not spawning in? Oh, did I place it wrong? I might have placed it wrong. Whoops. Hold on. Uh, not right there. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess that's fine. Might be able to just to ensure that it's there. You're fully connected by doing that, I suppose. But it goes from the pressure plate to that. Yeah, every quarter second it should spawn one in, but it's not doing it right now for some reason. Hmm. Hold on, let me get rid of the mechanical lens. Yeah, look at that. See, the lights are on. Yeah, see, it's spawning them in. I don't know why I wasn't spawning them in just a second ago, but... Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's like a random timer or whatever that limits how often you can spawn these guys in, but... Yeah, you see, we're, we're killing a bunch of jellyfish here. I wish I would have kept, because who knows what creatures we could have been farming here, you guys. Oh my god, it's still spawning them in even without me? On the pressure plate? Ooh. 
That's good. I'm like, they're spawning in and then immediately my UFO's one-shotting them, so <laughs> they're not really lasting very long. And I don't think you get money from this, right? Do you get money? No, I'm just getting glow fit. Or, uh, glow sticks. Yeah, see, I guess you only get loot from them. You don't get money. Huh. But you do still get the banners. <laughs> 150th blue jellyfish banner right there. Yeah, I, I guess I could try it somewhere else. Like, make sure I know a green jellyfish spawned somewhere. Because, you know, it might be biome thing. It might just be that this blue jellyfish, or uh, this jellyfish spawner only spawns in blue jellyfish. I don't know. But uh, there you go, there you go. And, uh, oh, whoops. I need to get the wire cutter for that, so that breaks that. There you go, nice. So we got all that back. So I guess I'll just go zoom out real quick. Try and find a green jellyfish somewhere, because I know it's somewhere here. And by the way, I think right here-ish is where I found that heart statue or something. Or maybe it was down there, because there's like three of them that are like right next to each other, so it's kind of confusing. Yeah, I'm not seeing any green jellyfish here, unfortunately. Specifically green. I think it has to be specifically green. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's a trap wire right there. Yeah, I'm not seeing it, you guys. Man. All right, well, just kind of want to... Oh, oh, loot all this. Whoa. Oh, and there's a pegron there. Ooh. Oh, and by the way, I... What's it called? Fishron. I keep I keep thinking Duke Fishron, but yeah. I, I went fishing for Simon to try and find something. Unfortunately, oh, we all zeroed a statue down there. Ah, oh, that was not me. But I went fishing for Simon, found a fish run. Oh man, what in the world? Hurtful blue boomerang. Why did I never get any of this? Did I never find this stuff? I guess not. <laughs> this one just kind of flew by me and I didn't even notice that, I suppose, huh? So that's kind of interesting. But yeah, I went fishing for Simon and found a uh, fish run. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Like an actual fish run. So that's cool. So we have another quest fish that I could use. Just that, you know, I need Simon to actually want that thing before I could actually give it to him, but I think right now I have, like, four fish in storage for Simon's, just that he, you know, he wants other fish. <laughs> so, that kind of sucks. But either way, yeah, let me just keep looking for green jellyfish, try and find some other stuff around here, I suppose. Oh my god! I got attracted to this because of heckin' wires right there, and a, I guess a detonator thing went off. <laughs> that genuinely spooked me right there with that sudden noise, holy heck. Yeah, I'm not- I'm not finding the green jellyfish here, you guys, so... Let me continue trying to find them, and, uh, hopefully I can find some more statues like that, too. And I'll see you guys here in a bit if anything else interesting happens. Alright, guys, I'm back. See, look at that. Green jellyfish right there. I'm not even too far away from where I just was. But if I kill that thing, obviously it's going to- and, and I have, like, unlimited breathing right now because, you know, I'm a fish guy. So, uh, I put this- Jellyfish. I guess I'll put it here then. So if I wire that up, I don't know if I can even do this stuff underwater. But if I wire that up to, oh man, where did it go? I have so much stuff on my inventory I can't see. Oh, it might have went into the void vault. Hold on, let's open up the void bag. There you go. Uh, yep, there you go. So we got the red pressure plate there, and we got this one second timer thing. I guess I'll throw some other stuff up inside there like this. Okay, that, yeah, that's fine. Well, let, let's try and wire this up just to try and see what happens, right? So let's do that. We got the one fourth timer there. And I'm probably doing this, like, extremely cringily, if that's a word. I'm probably doing this extremely cringily for any wiring experts, but just remember, I've never done any of this stuff before, so... There's a learning curve. Let's see. Yeah, see, look at that! Spawning in blue jellyfish there! What?! Even though there's a green jellyfish there, I should be in the bottom- I guess, yeah, this only spawns in blue jellyfish. So that sucks. Man! Well, at least I know it works underwater, so hey, that's cool. And yeah, look at that, my UFO's just constantly killing those blue jellyfish there, and all we're getting is just close. So if I kill this guy, are we going to get a band-aid or something? No, I don't think so. Yeah, we just got solar light and glow sticks and whatever else. Yeah, look at that, it's still, it's still spawning him in right there. I'm like, I'm not- We killed another 50 blue jellyfish in the past, like, 10 minutes or something like that, and me meme around with this, you guys. This is cool and all, but, like, I guess I can't specifically get the jellyfish that I need. So, yeah, that sucks. All right, well, like I said, oh yeah, let me go get the honey. I wanted to get the honey, and I got completely distracted by trying to get a green jellyfish to spawn in and all that kind of stuff. But uh, let's go back home, I suppose. There you go. Let's go to the jungle biome. We shouldn't be too far. So how, where was all that honey that we saw dripping? I might actually have to pop. Oh yeah, like right here. Ooh, yeah, that's really deep down. Hmm. I'm like, I guess I could go to one of these hunt. Hold on, there is one like right up here, isn't there? Yeah, look at that. There's one. Yeah, let's just go to uh, Jungle Biome. Pylon. Boom. And let's go over here. I think it's where this hole is, right? Yep, where this hole is. We have ten buckets. I guess it could fill up. I don't I don't know how. I just don't know how deep it needs to be in order for us to even get the honey effect, right? Oh, what's that up there? 
Oh, there's some honey right there randomly. What? And like actual honey blocks. So I guess I'll, uh... So what do you do? You go in the honey and then you have... Or do you... Okay, so you do have to actually click the honey with the bucket to pick it up. Now, honey is flowing out of that, it looks like. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I got it right there. And I do believe whenever you uh, break those blocks, you should get a bucket. And yeah, well, I guess we could do a queen bee thing real quick, just because why not? Because we still have that larva right there, but... Uh, yep. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. See, it goes down a little bit right there. I'm, I, we can make more buckets. Either that or just, you know, make multiple trips with the same ten buckets or whatever, but... Uh, yep, there you go. Queen bee, where is she at? She's gonna go down super fast, I bet, huh? Oh my god, like one hit of this already. Boom, dead. <laughs> what? Jeez! Oh yeah, I guess if anything, yeah, having the mechanical lens does show, hey, traps. Yeah, look at that, there's a boulder right there. What was that? Oh, I thought that might have been a statue. There might be a lot of statues down here, guys, in the in the jungle. Because this, this biome itself is just huge. But yeah, let, let's go back home real quick. Guess we can go pour all those uh, buckets of honey above our base. And see what happens. Let's see, has that been creating uh, hearts this whole time? Oh, it has! Yeah, look at that! Uh, pff, I don't know how many hearts that's been. Or either that or it's just it stopped whenever I stopped being nearby the thing, you know? But yeah, it, it, it just keeps spawning those in you guys. I'm not complaining at all. So, about right here, honestly. Uh, that's probably a bad... Uh, about right here. You guys know, like, right here is where the Eternity Crystal stuff is. I tried to place it about right there, you know, where it's nice and flat and everything like that. Uh, I might have to eventually deconstruct this or something like that, to be quite honest. I suppose I could have put it over here, where it's a little bit more out in the open. I'm like, it's not going to be hard to move it. Hmm. Should I do that? All the way over to here. It's more open. I'm not going to have to worry about that. Yeah, let's do it about right here. I wish I could, uh... How do you do it? Yeah, I could ping the minimap there. It's just that, you know, I, I guess I'll pick this up then. Ah, I can't do it. My inventory's full. I guess we'll go pour the honey over there real quick. And then let's see how how deep can it be, or how shallow can it be, and I still benefit from the honey. Or is it literally just place down honey and then boom, you're good. Because it's extremely wide right here. I'm feeling like I might have to make this a little bit deeper if I want to actually, uh... Zip. Oh, oh, it goes through this, though. Man! So specifically on this platform, I might have to actually, uh... Zip. There you go. I should pick that up and go into Void Vault. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm not getting- okay, there you go, honey benefit right there, because I'm in the honey as it's falling. <laughs> but whenever the honey lands down here, I guess I can test it out. It's just as it doesn't make sense how the honey itself is falling. It's like it's flowing, but like it's flowing as fast as- it, it's falling from gravity as fast as it flows. It's kind of weird. And yeah, we, I could still continue uh, killing pixies here, trying to get- It's just that, you know, I could have hopefully uh, gotten better odds by killing a bunch of green jellyfish from that spawner doohickey thing. It's just that it never happened. But anyways, yeah, here's the honey. So am I going to benefit from that? Or is it just going to like spread out so much as not even going to be noticeable? I'm going to stay away from it right now. Uh, is it glitched? Why is it? That was literally just one bucket of honey. I'm not even getting benefited from right here. Ooh. It does need to be decently deep. Okay. So you know what? I'll, I'll cut down some of these hallowed trees here. Boom. I guess if anything, can I pick this back up with that empty bucket I have? I guess this is just too shallow. Ooh. I can't even pick it back up. Well, that sucks. Man, well, we got bean aids right there. I guess I could... Oh, jeez, didn't mean to actually throw one. I wanted to... <laughs> I just wanted to clear some inventory space so I could actually use stuff. Jeez. But there you go. I guess I'll get that. Uh, we have pearl wood. Oh, I guess it's in the void vault. Hold on. Yep, there you go. Some pearl wood right there. So I suppose we could build a little bit. There you go. A little bit of a, a smaller area below that's actually made out of straight-up blocks. Impenetrable blocks, I guess you could say. So that would be about right here, right? I suppose, yeah, right here. So if I wanted to fall down into the honey area, then I guess I'd have to do it here. So, let's see. Let's place down the pearl. I guess we could, uh, yep, do that. Get that static hook thing going. Oh, am I really that far away? Oh, I guess I can't place it on the lantern. That sucks, man. I guess I'll place it here, then. There you go. Now I'll just make it, uh... That was deep as me, so about like that, so that's good. So I suppose I'll just place these here, and keep placing them to the right. Now how long is that honey- I think it only- Oh, whoops, man, just teleported up. <laughs> I was about to say, like, how long does that honey thing last? Does it last for a little while, or does it go away after a while? I guess I'll have to wait to find that out here in a sec. Yeah, this is one disadvantage right here, is that, you know, I can't float through it anymore because it's, uh, solid blocks there now, so that sucks. Man, look at how easy wyverns are now, it's crazy. But let me- let me build this all the way over to here. There you go. So I've got this down here. If I fill this in with honey, you know, however much honey I have right here, 
guess I'll just start pouring it out, you know, maybe start at the corners, boom. There you go, there's another bit right there. Yep. So hopefully it's actually deep enough for me to benefit from the honey. Okay, yeah, it does last 30 seconds, though, so maybe every 30 seconds or something like that. Let's see, let's get some more honey, because it's not, it's not stacking up right now. Yeah, see, look at that. I'm not benefiting. Oh, wait, hold on. Now I'm in the honey. Yeah, just a moment ago I was walking in the honey, but yeah, it does need to be a lot deeper than that. So yeah, I guess I'll make like a whole block full of honey right there. That'd be crazy. Or a whole tile or whatever you'd want to call it. Just that'd be really, really expensive trying to do that, I'll tell you that much. Alright, well, I'm going to have to move the, uh, the heart spawny doohickey thing over there. Oh my god, look at all the hearts over here. Yep. Look at that, that's like, if I was like basically dead, that's full health right there, maybe even more. So yeah, definitely want to build that over there, where it's a little bit more open, maybe even above the honey, so we can get a little bit of, you know, if I'm, if I'm low on health, you know, we get the honey benefit, and we get the heart spawning in stuff over here, you know, so maybe I'll put it like between all that, so heart lanterns on each side, maybe I'll put the, uh, the heart statue about right here in the middle, boom, that should be good, so yeah, now, now it's spawning in a heart on its own right there, should spawn in a second one here in just a sec, if this actually works properly, it should. And then I guess I put up the mechanical lens. Yep, yeah, boom, there you go. I guess I put up the mechanical lens so I'm not going to be distracted. Because, you know, whenever you're not wearing it, you don't see the wires. So, I guess I just put that up and, uh... Yeah, let me let me continue getting more honey here, you guys. And you go get all those buckets, uh... Make a couple more trips back and forth with, uh, more honey from the jungle biome. And hopefully I can get that up high enough to where we can actually get the honey benefit. It's just that it's going to be kind of tough because, you know, we have the ability because of our Terra Spark boots to walk on the honey. So we have to make sure we actually, you know, like we're on a platform right there to hit down. So we actually go into the honey and actually get the benefit because I don't think just walking on it is good enough for the honey benefit. So that sucks. But yeah, let me, let me, uh, get a bunch more random off camera stuff done real quick. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, you guys are back. And look at this. Swimming in honey. Yeah, look, look at how slow we are too. But the thing is, yeah, if, if I'm up here... Doing a battle, say, oh, I'm taking on the Moon Lord right now, oh, let me go down here, boom, boom. I have to hold down, down button. And look at that, it even turned into a little fish creature too, that's funny. <laughs> Imagine a fish swimming around in honey. But yeah, you, you you do have to do a little bit extra steps. This is just me landing normally right, right here, oh, let me go over here, let me go pick up some hearts. There you go, but... Boom, I don't, I don't get any honey effect from this. Look at this, I'm standing on the honey, I'm not in the honey, I'm not getting any benefit from it, so I need to make sure, boom, I'm in the honey. So, yeah, there's a little bit of extra steps, but, hey, what is this, life regeneration has increased, yeah. And while I'm down here, yeah, look at how, look at how vulnerable I am, I should still be able to shoot at him and all that kind of, I might be able to put, like, I'll probably have my, like, ballistas up here as well, just because why not, you know, hopefully they'll be able to help shoot him and stuff like that. I guess if anything, while I'm down here regenerating, I can shoot some... E-core bullets, which I need to make more of. Make sure I don't waste any there. <laughs> but yeah, I, and I could also do Razor Blade Typhoon. I could do this too. Wait, was this? Hold on. Is that, you know, quote unquote auto swing? Okay, it is auto swing, even though it's a, it's a magic thing. I was about to say, like, is my fire gauntlet there that we made last episode actually able to give us auto swing for like magic things and not just, you know, melee? That would have been crazy. But yeah. I, I guess, yeah, we, we kind of have a, a pretty good Sky Bridge Battle Arena, Boss Battle Arena, Moon Lord Battle Arena, whatever you want to call it. I guess if anything, we could do some practice here and then fight some minor bosses. Like, maybe I can get another, uh, I don't know, I need to find another one of those, like, Empress of Light things to spawn in, uh, the Empress of Light. And then I guess we could do that as, like, a test battle before the Moon Lord just to make sure everything's working properly. You know, give myself a little bit of practice before actually doing the Moon Lord battle here. But I'd say this setup is all right. I just wish I had more of those heart things uh, to spawn in, but you know, one heart statue I assume is already pretty heckin' rare, so I'm lucky to even have one there, so that's good. But either way, oh yeah, by the way, I'm, I'm up to 25 buckets, just kinda, you know, save me some trips going back and forth and back and forth. That way, uh, I even cut my trips in half, because I think I had like 12 buckets beforehand, up to 25 now. Yeah, I only had like two or three trips I had to do to fill that whole area up right there, which is great. So, uh, yep. There you go, put all that stuff up. Got a blue banner there, and I need to put up the buckets in the tools. There you go. I think we're pretty well set here, you guys. Am I really ready for the, the, the Moon Lord, like, next episode? I, I hate that I said I was probably going to do it this episode, but, you know, there's so much I can preparation have. Am I, am I possibly ready for it next episode? Maybe. Maybe not. But I'm definitely a lot more prepared now than I was, you know, before this episode happened. So I'm pretty proud that we finally got a great, like, boss arena ready to go. And what I want to do between this episode and next episode is, is continue trying to find more 
like recipe items that I need for what was it? The Ankh charm or whatever we have over here. The uh, what is it? More accessories. We have some things that we need to uh, to you know eventually turn into the Ankh charm and then combine it together with our obsidian shield to get the Ankh shield. So that would be great. But that's going to be hopefully next episode if I have enough luck trying to get these one percent item drops from these creatures, right? But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as a video comes out so you never miss an episode. I'm not going to make any promises for next episode saying we're, we're taking on the moon lore because obviously I broke that promise this episode. Well, I don't, I don't know if I even promised it, but still, I, I don't know. I don't want to get too ahead of myself here. We may still be doing some more moon lore preparation next episode, but I also want to at least test this new sky bridge slash boss arena slash region gen area i do want to test it out on actual boss next episode maybe it's going to be the empress of light maybe it's going to be some other stuff who knows what it's going to be but we'll have to wait until next episode to find out so until then thank you guys all very much for watching and i'll see you guys here next time with some more terraria oh bye there this is one weird way to wave goodbye oh bye there <laughs>